Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. Nice to kind of have a checkpoint there where you're like, all right, this is the, this is the base of it. Now I'm gonna add, add the harder thing in. Now I'm gonna take it away and, and, and have the base of it again. So it's like checkpoint, actual pattern, checkpoint, actual pattern, and you can, and you can kind of go back and forth. So if I was just gonna speed that up now to say 115, Without Back in. Really test kind of how, how you're going with it if you really understand the rhythmic notation of what you're doing. Instead of kind of going, uh, I'm going to guess. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess, you know, and it kind of becomes a real, a, a real messy roll. But I think it's that thing of that slow practice, which can be a, lot, a little trickier, trying to really space it out. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one triplet. Okay. Hey Melvin, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm just on page 29 of um, James's volume two book. We're looking at the uh, phrase workout stress bay number one. So just so you know, um, right now we're on exercise one, two, three, four, five. Exercise number five. Um, and the reason why I'm doing some of this is because, I, because we're learning a new stress bay um, for our MSR and I think there was a time where we were playing it, and I was just like, oh, I just kind of, I, I want to, I want to kind of refine these these single fives. I just, I just want to make sure I'm really nailing it. And I think sometimes we, we might be a little forward, and we might get excited, we might think we're going too slow, but we're actually bang on. So it's that thing of just like working with the metronome, and I'm a a, a big fan of working with the metronome by myself, but also with uh, with the other drummers in the core as well. So yeah, that one is exercise number five. Um, so yeah, if there's any questions on that, okay, if I was really going to kind of sum, up, sum that up so far, it's, it's that slow practice first, it is the taking the, the 16th notes away and just playing the rhythmic foundation of the 8th note triplets, and then it's bringing those 16th notes back in and just, and, and really trying to make sure you're nailing it. Um, and it's good, like I said, it's really good to say it as you play it, because it's kind of hard to say three triplet and go three triplet and playing the six sixteenths over the top. You can sometimes get a little bit tongue tied, but it's good for you. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com. I will put that description in the link below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.